the remains of 28 Kenyans who perished in the Ethiopian plane crash in March finally arrived home. The emotional event followed months of DNA identification since most of the bodies had been burnt or mutilated beyond recognition. The ill-fated ET-302 crashed in Bishoftu town just a few moments after taking off from Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, in March. And as Enoch Sikole now reports, the government maintains it is working very closely with the Ethiopian officials to ensure full compensation for the affected families. The landing of this Boeing 787 plane from the Ethiopian airline at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport signaled the end to a long wait for the families who lost their loved ones in the ET-302 crash in March this year. Prior to the arrival of the remains, family members had already gathered at the JKA pavilion. The remains were brought in in specialized caskets and a brief function held after arrival. A somber mood soon engulfed the pavilion as family members got a glimpse of the caskets and what they contained. This is the last step. We want just to do it and then we put a closure. Some like Benedict Mutua, who lost a brother, had had a chance of viewing the remains some few days ago. Oh, I went to Ethiopia on Saturday just to go and have a look at um, the remains mm. and uh, we had time. We checked around what is the what is inside the coffins, mm. the different remains, we have kept them well. Bodies of those who perished were severely damaged beyond recognition, prompting Ethiopian Airlines to consider DNA analysis to identify them. As a family, we're just planning to do our final rights to give our, a good send off to our brother. It comes across as a closure to this, uh, this bad and traumatic past that we've had. I've also noticed the same with my parents, more so my mom was uh, a bit uh, disturbed. And having known our African context, you know, we have to see the body for for you to get full closure. Amos lost his sister, Stella Mbicha, in the crash that happened minutes after the plane took off from Bole International Airport in Addis Ababa. The identification of the crash victims took about six months. The Ethiopian authorities had alluded the long wait to what they termed as the complexity of the process and extensive damage of the bodies. After waiting for seven months, families of those who perished in the Ethiopian airline crash can now have a closure. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.